My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around Yo guys, thanks once again for tuning into the channel So this is Kixplore where I review everything sneakers and travel related And in today's episode, we will be talking about this sneaker So, obviously if you saw, uh, if you read the actual title of the, um, the video it is about the Air Max 720. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says 720 there, somewhere. Yep. And uh, this is the really cool uh, box. I've been meaning to do um, a video for this for a while now because these sneakers actually came out. I think March 26. Uh, they came out to be around 260 dollars retail, and I'm only doing them now because I've actually found uh, time to actually do them. If you guys didn't know, I've been uh, moving house, so like. Things are kind of everywhere as you can see in the background and stuff so yeah bear with me guys anyway let's get into this review and guys if you do learn something from this video please subscribe to the channel and uh you know please give me that big thumbs up because all that kind of information that i get from you guys helps me to better create content so first of all i want to say thank you to the guys at cosmo Nauts for this really cool sneaker i mean sneaker sorry this really cool t-shirt as you can see it's about making rice noodles so uh, i definitely ask you guys to actually check them out they do have a really cool story behind their actual business and uh yeah they just have really cool stuff to do to them they got like it teaches you how to make noodles bro anyway back to the sneakers so the air max 720 okay uh once again it comes around 260 dollars it comes in really cool packaging i guess they have to do that because it is uh, technically, it is a really pretty expensive sneaker. I actually have to get it on Afterpay because, oh my gosh, my budget is so out of whack right now. Anyway, they put a lot of detail into the actual packaging. As you can see, it's got these holographic um, uh, details with the logos for the MX units in the past and stuff. So yeah, that, I think that's a really nice touch. And let's open the box. And as you can see, it comes with this really cool uh, cellophane paper. As you can see, it's like really... It's really, I don't know how to use it, it changes color every time the light changes. And when you open it up, you get the sneakers. Oops, it's this way. You get the sneakers. Now, disclaimer, I've already worn these sneakers. I've been actually been wearing these sneakers for a while now. And uh, I have to admit, they're pretty enjoyable to wear. They, I probably have to say straight out of the bat, that these have a really big air unit. It kind of reminds me of a certain celebrity, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> but anyway, it's got a really bootylicious, like, booty. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's it's got a really tall air unit at the back, four centimeters high, if I'm not mistaken. It's good and it's bad in some ways. I'll tell you why, because uh, it looks really cool. I like it, first of all, it's really cool. And uh, uh, it also provides really nice cushioning like uh, other people could probably say that there are other MX models out there that have better cushioning out there but I like this one it's nice it's really you know it, it feels like you're on something really like when you when you're walking you're walking on something pretty substantial uh, let's say other sneakers out there they might have um, the cushioning that when you step it feels too almost too squishy that you lose your kind of grip and uh, your kind of motion controls and that kind of stuff. Where this one is a lot more stable, um, but the problem is it is a little bit too big. It's four centimeters high, too big. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's it's really really tall. Um, so I feel like every time I'm running, I feel like there could be just slightly a higher chance for me for me to actually roll my ankle. But you know that's just me because I'm big fat and clumsy i gotta say guys you gotta check out up their store they got a lot of really cool stuff there it's um it's actually a really nice really cool homey looking store so yeah definitely check those guys out because i felt like that this was a sneaker that they were going to be using to promote air max day 2019 um but it, i kind of i to me it never really kind of took off it, it never they never promote it in terms of Air Max Day. They just promote it as a, a normal shoe. Uh, it's okay. I don't mind because I was just expecting it because compared to the last year's uh, Air Max 270 release, 
uh, on Air Max Day. It was kind of like hand in hand kind of thing, and it like they really promoted like the Air Max 270. Whereas this year, they kind of probably stepped back and just like let the sneaker do the talking instead of the actual Air Max Day. Well, in Melbourne anyway. I don't know. They probably did. A, I think they did like a better job in promoting the Air Max 720 on Air Max Day in other cities, but uh, in Melbourne it was a, a little bit more subtle. So ever since Tinker Hatfield um, designed the first Air, Air Max concept, um, Nike has really developed the actual Air unit and you can tell because it's kind of, it's always like grown bigger, bigger, bigger throughout the years and uh, as you can see to this day, this is the biggest one to date. It's four centimeters high, it basically covers almost the whole uh, like outsole or the bottom of the sneaker you can see there because it, it actually goes almost i think it literally goes almost all the, all the way around the, the bottom of the sneaker so under this area is uh i think they have composite foam there whereas uh over here it's like you can feel it, it's like an airbag like literally it's like a tire in terms of durability i have been using this for a while and i'm a big dude guy so i normally back in the day when i used to get air bubble sneakers they'd always pop like after a couple of months maybe three or four months but this one I've been wearing for uh, not a, not three or four months but this feels a lot more durable so if you are <laughs> like worried about like popping this actual airbag unit you, you need some substantial force you need to actually really really try to uh, damage it and puncture it for you to actually make a you know a hole in it and to actually permanently damage it in a bad way that you can't wear the sneakers anymore so the initial uh, concept I think the Nike designers uh, try to engineer this sneaker to feel more like um, like you're walking on clouds in a way and I, I could probably tell you yeah they're pretty close uh, you know it does because it's such a big air <laughs> bag unit that you, when you're walking it does feel like oh yeah it's like oh like I'm walking on something not on the floor kind of thing yeah I reckon they definitely hit their mark and uh, it, it's really it, it is a comfortable sneaker um, I would just probably say it's a little bit big it's big it's a big sneaker like you do feel taller wearing these so if you're a short guy like me uh, it does give you a little bit of that more confidence when you're walking because you're like hey like looking down at people hey what's up yeah I'm just wearing MX sneakers hey what's up <laughs> but uh, yeah you know so it, it does have that feeling there of uh, being cloud like but in terms of Comparing it to like the MX 270s or the Epic Reacts, uh, these yeah definitely feel a lot heavier. I'll pr probably have to say. Okay, so in terms of the upper, you can see here. I don't know if you guys can see, but the upper is compromise. Uh, is comprised of this like synthetic um, mesh material. It's got all these holes in it. It I would probably say it has nothing to do with ventilation or anything. It just is like the kind of pattern for the design which is totally unique compared to any other Air Max that we've seen to date and um, it's got these mesh pods everywhere as well I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> they got one there one two on the back one on the side and in terms of ventilation purposes once again guys I don't think it has it's not it wasn't built for that kind of purpose for ventilation because you can see on the inside when you look on the actual inside, there's another material lining, so that ventilation isn't directly going to your foot, so it's, I don't think it serves that purpose. I think it's just purely aesthetic uh, purposes of why they actually put the uh, pods there. I think it looks cool. Uh, in a way, it looks very... It looks like a, like a spaceship, like a futuristic spaceship that's going to take you to outer space. But, um, yeah, I think that's the kind of design that we're going for. It, it really does push, like, kind of the boundaries of aesthetic compared to what um nike normally designs where they you know it, it, it's it's really different i gotta say so a fun fact nike claims that 75 percent of the materials used for this actual sneaker were recycled now it it'll be pretty hard to tell which parts are actually recycled it could be the airbag maybe they're just using a uh, reusable uh, rubber but uh you know it's yeah it's hard to tell which parts are um reused re reused as uh recyclable Oh, sorry. It's hard to tell which stuff is recyclable uh, materials, but I am a fan of that. I do like it when uh, companies do take that sustainability route because it, because I did do design, and that's one of the things that we were supposed to be like including into our, our product concepts and stuff. And uh, I really do think that 
uh, you know, when we design something, we should be thinking about the end product, not just the start product. So like the whole uh, product life cycle, not just when you make it kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I think uh, more brands should be doing that. And uh, yeah, th we should be supporting that kind of uh, initiative. So in terms of sizing guys, I think this is one of the more important uh, subjects, obviously. I am normally a size nine and a half in terms of uh, sneakers. So all my sneakers are nine and a half because I, I, I got a, a wide foot. And with this sneaker, I had to go for a size nine. I felt like it felt, it felt more snug. Whereas in, if I got the nine and a half, I felt like it, it was a little bit too roomy in the toe box area. Well, that's just me guys. Um, I would suggest that you go down half a size if you've got a wide foot because I think they they are built to be a little bit more narrow than normal but once again guys if you're not sure please go into the nearest the like secret store or Nike store where they do where they are selling these uh, uh, silhouettes because yeah they're, they're making so many like right now there are so many different colors there's so many different quantities all throughout the world so I, I think it's really easy to actually go into store and just try one to see if it fits like true to size for you or like if you need to go down size like what I did. So my overall thoughts of this sneaker are pretty positive. I would probably say they're a really cool sneaker. I have seen a lot of these walking around lately. When I when I first bought this uh, from the update store, yeah, there was not like hardly anyone wearing it and I did get a lot of head turners. Like a lot of people were looking at me because they are such a big, bold sneaker. Look at them. like. People don't normally see stuff like this, and that's why they're like, "Oh, what are those?" And and look at the color, guys. It's like this, uh, this really. Uh, what's the color? Metallic silver and black argent metallic. Yeah, Neuer and O I R. I don't even know how to say that Neuer, <laughs> but that's the color of this actual sneaker. And yeah, it's really good. It's got this really irresistible feel. Uh, it changes color as you like it, depending on what light it goes through so uh, yeah it's a this is definitely a head turner so if you like that kind of stuff where it's like new fresh these are definitely uh, a cop for you guys especially because it is pretty comfortable i would have to say and it's really stable guys it almost feels like i probably suggest uh, i could probably say it feels similar to the air monarch because they are pretty big and uh they got that you know really how do i say it's like a safe secure feel every time you actually wear them so with this review i hope you guys actually learned something and i hope you got a, a better insight of uh, what i think and uh, what a person might think when they actually wear this because these are uh, yeah i would i would say yeah i would, like i bought this with my own money and it's like yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so yeah i would really really like to hear your guys thoughts on this sneaker do you like it do you not like it what are the things that you do like about it if you do like it and if you have problems with it, what problems did you have? I really, really want to know. Uh, let me know in the comment section, guys. And uh, thank you once again for watching this video. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And I'm sorry it's been a while <laughs> for me to actually make one. But you know, guys know that like you know, life just gets busy. Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you did learn something from this video, please give me that big thumbs up. All right, guys. Thanks once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.